22 things creative people do differently. Also, uh, this video is kind of, what do you say, dry? It's just me talking a lot. But if you're into that, um, <laughs> enjoy. Hi, my creative people. I don't know why I'm always, I'm always stashing by scratching my eye, but <laughs> I don't know, my eye is always itchy just when I've turned on the camera. That's weird. I know, it's weird as me. Anyway, I found this article on the interwebs. Um, why, why not, where, um, 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 uh, hold up, here we go. It's on just something dot co or dot co dot whatever. There's a link uh, down there, of course. Um, and the article is called 22 things creative people do differently than the rest. If you're creative, you will understand. And uh, of course, it's one of those typical titles that's just meant to get you to actually click the the article. But I, I went on and did it just to see if I would agree with with the 22 things because I do consider myself to be fairly creative and I thought well let's see if I if I understand if I can relate and I actually did with about all of it pretty much um, I'm gonna go through them one by one I'm gonna read them out loud and give my opinion my comment, my thought of everyone and uh, you'll have a chance to see if you relate to any of these. If you're creative, do you consider yourself creative? Anyway, feel free to write in the comments if you if you can relate with all these things. If you can, I don't know, some of them just I agree with number one, but number two is weird or something. I don't know. Whatever. Let's just. There we go. Sorry. It's probably loud. Let's let's from the top. Number one. The first one. They get inspired at the least expected moment. That's pretty true. That's pretty true. It is, actually. Um, at least I, I, I experience this myself. Especially if I'm uh, making like some big school, school novel, essay, whatever, I don't know. But something where you have to be creative. I'll have to like I have to do something else, play a game or something, or watch television. Then all of a sudden, I'll think of something, and I'll I'll get I'll, I'll write like a lot of lines, maybe even just half a page or a page, just in five or ten minutes. Just everything just comes, and then I gotta take another break. I can't work on the whole like assignment all in one. I gotta have all these breaks. Then I take another break or whatever and start playing a game. And then all of a sudden something more comes and I'll, I'll write it down. That's how, that's how I do. It's really great not to get stressed and stuff. I hate stress. I'm always so chill. Anyway, number two. They daydream a lot. And yes. I daydream too much. I am walking inside my own thoughts constantly. I'm always overthinking. I think so much. And then yes, I daydream. I really do. Imagining all these awesome scenarios and whatever. Why couldn't this happen? Or why am I not meeting the woman, the fucking love of my life? 
I'm guessing it's going to happen at some point. I don't know. Number three, they get easily bored. Yes, I... Yes, I do, actually. Especially in school. But that's... Everyone does that. But yeah, I do get easily bored. I, it depends what, but... Yeah, it, it's true. It's true for me. Number four, they watch the world with the eyes of a child. I do. I still, honestly, still consider myself a child. I'm sometimes... You know, I'm 19. Sometimes people call me sir or man or whatever. And it's... That's fucking wrong to me. That's weird. I am not... I'm not a man. I'm just a little boy. I, I haven't... There's a lot of factors and thingies where I haven't really grown up. I'm still just a little kid. And it's true. Number five, they will fail and you can be sure they will try again. As a skater, this is often true. You know, you fail, you fall, you get up and you try again. But, I don't know, that depends what. Of course, there's a lot of things. If you fail, you'll try again. But there's also a lot of things why you wouldn't try again. You'll be smart enough to realize, okay, this this was just a stupid fail. I'm not going to do that again. Anyway, fuck it. Number six. They are told to get a real job. I'm always told to get a real job. And probably if I ever become like a YouTuber for real, I'm gonna be told to get a real job. Probably. But I don't care. I just want to be free. I just want to live my life happily. Uh, yeah, man. And my friend actually just said today, You know what? We're probably the type of guys who's never gonna have a real job. And I, I, I agree with him. I think that's true. Number seven, they will follow their heart even if often their mind thinks otherwise. Not really true. Damn. It's, um, often I think my mind is with my heart. They're like thinking and doing the same thing. I feel like either my heart is in my brain or my brain is in my heart. Trust me, I follow my heart, okay? I do what I love to do. I do what I want to do. But my brain's also telling me to do that, so. Um, by the way, I last one, and then I have to stop recording to start recording again because I can only record for 10 minutes at a time. Stupid. They get lost in time. That's number 8. They get lost in time. Yes, I do. I do get lost in time. I Everything's just a blur to me. It's... Uh, I, I agree, okay? I agree. It's true. Um... I have seven minutes left of filming. Just saying. Uh, hurry, hurry. Number nine. They work when you sleep, and they sleep when you work. I guess that's kinda true. I like to work at night, but I don't always, so I don't know. That's that's a bit... I don't know. Whatever. Number 10. Where most people see a difficulty, they see an opportunity. Not always, but sure. 
definitely. I mean, yeah. They fall in love with their pieces of work and hate them the day after. Yeah. Especially with my old, my old videos. I can, like, when I see some of you guys comment on them, I'm like, oh shit, someone watched my old stuff. Just watch my new stuff, don't watch my old stuff, it sucks. I'm always like that. I, I just can't help it. <laughs> so it's true. Number 12. They hate what they've just created, but will totally love it 12 hours later. See, that's retarded. Number 11 and number 12 are against each other. Number 11 says they fall in love with their pieces of work and hate them the day after. Number 12 says they hate what they've just created but will totally love it 12 hours later. That makes no sense. That's two opposite things. The one thing say they hate it, then they love it. And the other thing says they love it, then they hate it. And they're right after each other, man. Get your facts straight or shit, man. That's weird. Whatever. Uh, number 13. They are humble and proud at the same time. Sure. I mean, I am proud of what I do. And I am really humble. Sure. And I've met a lot of people like that. Especially the skate god. He is so humble, you can't believe it. And I call him God because he basically invented every flip trick out there. He's got some TED Talks. I'll put some in. He's a really fascinating person. And he's talking about skating, but taking it to the like the real world. I really hardly suggest you watch it. It's so amazing, all the stuff he says. He says stuff you can take from the skate world to the real world, and it's he's amazing. He's so humble, the way he talks. He's just an amazing guy. It's Rodney Mullen. Uh, number 14. They are always looking to new ways, for new ways to express themselves. Sure. Always. I want to try everything on YouTube. Like, I don't want to be limited to only do gaming. If I want to do this video I'm doing right now, I'm going to do it. And hopefully you guys are going to like it. And if not, I'm, I'm still going to do it. And I mean, you can just not watch the video if you don't like it. And you can just, you know, keep watching my gaming videos and not watch this. That's your own choice. Uh, 15. They procrastinate. I don't know what that means, but it's probably true. Number 16. They see the other side of the coin. Sure, I guess that's true, in some cases at least. 17. They don't like boundaries. No, I don't. That's why I would love to work with YouTube purely because I'm free I can do whatever I want whenever I want it wherever I want it kinda not really I mean but there's not many boundaries and I, I wouldn't be able to have a boss that constantly tells me what to do um, 18 they often don't like numbers Yesterday it said they can't do the math, and now it says they often don't like numbers, but I guess it's kind of true. Numbers are gay. <laughs> 19. They are great observers. I am. In most cases, I really, like, I'm constantly observing everything. I know so much about so many people in my class, even though I've never really talked to them. They've never told me any of this. I just been observing. I'm not trying to listen in, gossip, fucking eavesdrop or whatever it's called, but yeah. 20. They always make new experiences. Sure. I want to experience everything, man. That's great. I, I really do. 
especially starting YouTube, you know, you can vlog that you're going this place and that place and you can do exciting things and whatever. Uh, 21, they do it all over again. N no, not necessarily. I wouldn't say so, not really. Um, maybe some things. I don't know. Number 22, which is by far the best. They love. I love. And I love love. And I love you. And I don't really give a fuck about sex. I don't really give a fuck about looks. I, I want to just find the real love and feel love. Like I feel loved from you. I love it. I think I better hurry because I barely have any more time. Um, one thing that's missing is they consider their works as their babies. And it's true, you know, you want it to do good and you don't want any harm done to your baby. But, 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 yes. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I think the camera is stopping now, so take care, guys. Uh. Oh, you're still recording for like